Okay, so this is the craziest video that I've ever made. I'm not even sure whether I'm going to survive this experiment, but in the event that I don't survive, my friend William will upload this video for you and there will be no more videos from me. But anyway, we'll go ahead and do this experiment. So the electricity that you use in your house has three main terminals. The live terminal, that's very dangerous. It's the one that carries current from the source to whatever device you're using in the house. The neutral terminal, which carries current back from the device to the source under normal conditions. It should not shock you, so it does not have any voltage on it. And of course, the earthing which takes the extra current to the earth. Now, like I said, the live terminal is very, very dangerous. And what I'm going to do in this video, do not try it at home or anywhere unless you understand the risks involved. I'm going to touch the live wire of this electricity, which carries voltage, okay? And uh, I want to see what happens, and uh, so let's get into the experiment. I'm going to touch the live wire of a 240 volt power supply. We are going to use a digital multimeter to measure the voltage on these two terminals. So that's 210 volts, 210 volts on these two terminals. And now this is the moment of truth. So I have a tester here. So it doesn't show anything. This is the neutral wire, as you can see. So nothing here. And then we have this which is the live terminal, see, so there is voltage on this terminal, remember this is 210 volts, we've so just measured this, okay, I repeat, do not do this at home. So now I'm holding 210 volts live voltage here, as you can see, and uh, if I just use this tester to put on myself, you can see it does not light because my whole body is now at the same potential of 210 volts. Okay, just put here, no voltage because the potential difference is the same. Okay, and now I let go. And now you can see it's showing the voltage again okay and now I'm going to explain to you why I'm not shocked when I hold this 210 volt uh, terminal okay so this is the trick that I used as you can see I'm putting on safety boots which have an insulating sole I have to let you know that electricity flows from high potential to low potential just like water flows from a high altitude to a low altitude. And for this electricity to flow, there must be a conducting path. Now, by putting on these insulating safety boots, I blocked that path. So even when I held the live wire with my hands, current could not flow through me to the ground. Remember, the only thing that will shock you is not the electric voltage, but the electric current that passes through you and causes electrocution. So, the insulating boots did not allow current to flow through me and so I was able to survive this deadly experiment. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, subscribe for the, uh, to this channel to get more content like this. And I hope to see you in my next video. Comment below to tell me what you think about this. See you again.